My guest is Ashley. Ashley, why are you here today? I'm here today to prove to my ex that my baby is his, that he is the father of my child. Um, and why is he denying that it's his baby? Do you have a little boy or a little girl? A little boy. You have a little boy. Um, you were with this guy, and how long were you with him? Um, a little under a year. And you got pregnant planned? No, I was 16 when I got pregnant. You were um, 16? Yes. And how old are you now? I'm 18. 18. Mm -hmm. So now you got a little boy, mm -hmm. and he, you guys broke up at some point? Yeah, we had a lot of problems. Um, he was being verbally abusive and physically abusive towards me. He cheated on me. Uh, how old is he? He is 19. 19. So he was 17 at the time when you got yeah. pregnant. Mm -hmm. um, so now, but you do have a little boy, and how old's your little boy now? He's 14 months. 14 months, and he says, what, this is not my son? Um, he tells all of our friends and everyone around town that... Um, that that's not his kid, it looks nothing like him, um, just things like that. He never comes to see him. You know, he's probably seen my son like five times since he's been born. And five times since he's been born. Um, and I, I'm assuming he doesn't give you any money or? No, I mean, he went to his first birthday party, but what he bought him there, that was all he got him. He's never gotten him any diapers, any formula, anything. And you're here today because um, you want to prove to him that he is the father. Yes. And I assume he took a DNA test before the show. Yes. And um, could anyone else be the father of your son? Um, there was an incident that happened um, when I was 16. I was at a party, um, and we were all drinking, smoking marijuana. But I think I was drugged because I blacked out that night. Two weeks later, I found out I was pregnant. So you believe that somebody um, had sexual intercourse with you when you were blacked out? Mm -hmm. um, so it is within the realm of possibility that somebody else could be the father of this child. Yes. Um, he's, now, he's 19 years old. He has a son with you. He's dating someone else now, and they have a child. Yes. I mean, 19 years old, he's got two kids already. <laughs> um, yeah. How do you feel about his new relationship? Um... <laughs> Well, when I first found out about it, it really hurt me because, like, when I found out I was pregnant, I thought he was going to be there for me, you know? And, like, she got pregnant two months after I did. So, yeah, shows he didn't really care very much. And, um, and his new girlfriend is 16 years old. <laughs> Let's meet his new girlfriend, Shelby. Okay, so now we know the truth. That's no. the only no, reason you got pregnant, because no. you thought he'd get back with you. That is not why. Really? And you're calling him how hard and the reason, And the reason he's only been there five times, you moved out of state. That no, was six months ago. Six months ago, yeah, and we tried to come see No, you didn't. You guys made no effort at all to we come no see effort, him. No None. effort, no effort. He tried, he made sure he got out of work to come see him be born. Yeah, Not even then, knowing and then if right it was after his. he was born, he was sent to the NICU, okay? And he didn't even come to see him after that. He was out of work that whole time. Because he was Y'all, working. Two weeks. He was working. He was in the NICU. Trying to make the money for his kid. No, he, why well, haven't I seen a dime of that? I don't have any money from him. I don't have any formula. Why, any is diapers, this why has it taken this long to get a, a paternity done? Get a court order. Why does he need a court order? Why wouldn't he just take one? Because sometimes you have to deal with things like that. Sometimes the dad's not cooperative, and you got to step up and yeah, do things yourself. Yeah, but this is your man that we're talking about. Why is he uncooperative? Why wouldn't you want to find out if it's your son? Okay, this whole little party thing with getting drugged and everything, that is the first time we're hearing about this. She was with somebody else. No, I wasn't. She was with somebody else. Okay, let me ask you something. You're she, 16 years old, right? Yes, I'm 16. Why, why are you interjecting yourself into, first of all, another relationship? And I, I can't even say it's an adult relationship because you're only 18 yourself. You were 16 when you got pregnant. But even now, you have a child with this guy. You're, six, you're, you're 16 years old. You are 16 years old. The same thing he did to you, he did to her. And now you're both in the same boat. Imagine if Jeff all of a sudden, you eh, know, he's tired of you when he breaks up with you, and he starts denying his paternity to this child. How would that make you feel? Awful. Right? Well, I mean, that's how she's feeling. 
I mean, I'm doing it on my own, Shelby. I know. Just think of how hard that and is. And I admire you for that. I really do. I'm working full time and going to school. <laughs> it's really hard. Does this guy work? No. No. <laughs> Well, he's too busy having sex with 16-year-olds. <laughs> um, does he support your baby? Like, help me? Financially, Financially? help you? No. He's there. He's there? He's there. So he lives does, with me. So he lives with you. Does he get up and take care of the baby? Yes. And, Change the baby's yes. diaper and everything. So he, at least he does support you with helping with the child. But so what does he do all day? How come, well, Mike, here's a better question. How come he's not out working? He's been putting in applications recently. Okay, let's bring uh, Jeff out. Let's bring Jeff out. You know that's your hey, You know I think that. No, that's bull. Okay, you, you are with another man after we split up, for, and then you're with him for two months, and then you tell okay, me you're pregnant. Okay, but we never had sex. How would I know that? I'm not in your bed. I didn't know that. I wasn't at your house. And then you tell me that you go to another party. When, I've never heard of this before in my life. You never told me this. But you were there when he was born and everything. I was there because you told me that he was my son. And he I kinda, is your son. I'm not for sure about that. How would I know? How would I know, know for I sure? never cheated on you. you How would know I know that? that? How do I know that? You'll know here in a second. You will know. Well, What'd I can do? understand why you didn't know, because you look like you're 14 years old. <laughs> but I, I would hope that you would know that if you have sexual intercourse with somebody, you got a good chance of having a kid. Yeah. Now, you're 19 years old, right? Yes. Okay. And you have two children already. Yes. Two children. And you don't work. Because I lost my job. Who's supposed to be supporting these children? I was supporting her. But you're not now. So I'm asking you, who's going to support these children? She has a job right now, and I'm oh, so working on getting supporting. a job. The 16-year-old's going to support. She has a job, and I'm working on getting my own job. So. Was she in high school when you started sleeping with her? Yes. And now she's not in school anymore, right? No. Do you feel bad at some point that you kind of, and she bears some responsibility too, but you're going around, you're impregnating these young girls, and now we have two young girls that aren't finishing high school, that you've ruined their dreams of whatever they chose to be, and without an education, not going to go very far in life. And they're with a guy that doesn't have a job, who yeah. can't support his kids. I mean... I'm trying. I'm trying to get a job. I've been how working about, at it. How about not having kids until you have a job that you can hold on to? But some things happen, and What's you just that? have to deal with them, you know? And No, I mean, but you can do things to prevent having children. I how know. about strapping one on? But now it's already happened, and so we just have to deal with it. We have to make what, the you know best what? of the situation. You know what? I can understand that. You, it already happened. But after it happened once, how about doing something to prevent it from happening a second time? You didn't obviously learn your lesson after once. Now it's happened twice. What makes me think that you're not going to go out and get some, somebody else pregnant? I, I just have to make the best of the situation the best way I can. That's all I know. Well, you're not because you're not there for your son at all. But I'm not for sure if he is my son. Okay, like I said. but what if he is your son? And see, this if he is, is my son. all that time with him. Okay, but all this time you that's can't passed that now. Back. And the problem is having kids when you're this age is because you don't realize. You don't understand, and that's why 16, 17, 18, 19 year olds should not be having kids. And one thing now, you're denying that he's your son, you're not seeing him, you're not spending time. What if this result comes back, you are the father, and now you missed out on all this time, and you're not supporting him, and this is your son. Well, the only reason I wasn't there was because I wasn't for sure if he was my son, and I didn't That's know. my point, though. You, you, uh, what if you are the father? You're not sure, but you know why you're not sure? Because now you're checking up with this one. And I know for a fact that that's my daughter, so I've been helping support how, how her. How do you know that this yeah, one isn't and that know? one's not? Did you have a DNA? Did you have a DNA test with her? No. Okay, well, how do you know for sure then? I guess I really you don't. don't. 
Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help. Let's find out if you're the father. Before I read the results, um, are you hoping to be the father? I mean, if I am, then... No, I'm asking you. Are you hoping to be the father? If you can make this anything you wanted, what are you making? I'd want it to be, I would want to be the father. Okay. Jeff, you took a DNA test before the show, and the results of that DNA test is that you are the father. I mean, you, you owe that young girl some kind of an explanation, some kind of apology for not being there for her. So go back out there and apologize okay. to her. I will. I am sorry for not being there. I am. I really am. And I will be there to help support you more now. But, I mean, you live all the way in Nashville. It is going to be hard for me to get there. We can meet halfway. You can make arrangements. Yes. It's not that far. We can start doing that. Because, I mean, I do want to be in my son's life. Hit the road and start finding a job so you can take care of these two children and not leave it all on our backs to take care of your kids. <laughs> If, if you're gonna wait to count on a guy, you're gonna be, you're gonna be, that's a bad plan. So make sure you do that. If we can help in any way, please let us know. All right? Yes. Good luck to everybody. I wish you the best.